kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone. So real quick, before you did that, did you... More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the... Um, and your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna use that KUKA. You know, I, I'm a little more strict with what I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, Hey everyone, how's it going out there um, in YouTube world and Facebook as well? Uh, so I just want to welcome you guys to episode 12 of the Real Estate Talk with Randy Steadwell. Um, my guest is actually running a little bit late, so what we're going to do is I will introduce him a little bit. Um, but if you have any questions in the meantime, put them in the chat. Uh, we'll be happy to go over whatever um whatever you guys want to talk about today uh as well as throughout our time i uh, if you have questions put it in the chat as well so uh one thing i did want to say is that you know i also do help new wholesalers out there so if you are a new wholesaler and do need help uh trying to lock up deals or just need advice or anything like that by all means hit me up uh, you, my numbers, my numbers right here at the bottom, right there, and I, uh, you can hit me up. We can get on a on a video chat, something like that. As long as we can record it, it's free of charge. So, um, as well as if you want a JV with me or anything like that, I'm happy to work with you. Um, and you know, kind of, I'll give you my opinion. Now, my opinion is not God by any means. It. All I do is listen to what my buyers say in this area. Have people bought higher? I uh, have people bought higher than what I think. Yes, um, but I go by seasoned investors who I sell to, um, and I listen to them as much as possible. So, um, if you want advice or anything like that, by all means, let me know. Um, I also do have a network of other wholesalers. So if you are looking for certain properties, give me your criteria and maybe I can find it. If I don't have it, I can at least network with other wholesalers and maybe they find it. We can JV. So I'm um, happy to work with anybody who wants to work with me. Um, and I kind of go from there. Now, am I coming off as a guru who knows everything on here? No, I am not. I am coming off as this is my story. This is this is what I'm doing. I'm just interviewing people, and guess what? I'm doing it at my own uh, selfish reasons. I'm sharing it with you guys, but you know, I'm meeting these people for networking purposes because I eventually want to do deals with them. So, I uh, you know. Saeed Mo, uh, Mosin, he is a uh, real estate broker. He owns two teams of real estate agents. It, they are world-class people. And by all means, I want to do more business with him. So it is actually kind of selfish of me to bring him on here. So I'm trying to tell my story, go through the product, go through the, the purpose. I'm in my third year of wholesaling, okay? I, I still do it part time. I do have a full time job. I'm, um, you know, I'm not sitting here the one telling you to go quit your job to do wholesaling. It's not that I'm not telling you that because I'm not doing that. I actually like my day job, and I'm using wholesaling to end up being my, I, uh, you know, I want to get to the next step. So wholesaling is not an end all, be all. Uh, and so I'm looking for the next strategy and the next and then the next so that I can eventually retire on, um, you know, when I do and I'll still be financially free, free. So with all that being said, again, anybody who is just joining us, if you're joining us from Facebook, if you're joining us from YouTube, put in the chat if you have any questions. Um, my, my host is actually being a little bit late. Uh, for right now, and I do apologize. 
Uh, you know, but in the meantime, we can chat a little bit more from you guys. So please let me know what you guys want to hear. I actually want to know from you guys, what kind of videos do you like? If you're not watching this in the live, if you're only watching this on the replay, put comments, put a comment in there. What kind of videos do you like coming from me? If you want to learn more, if you want more videos, what type of videos do you want? I'll try to get more of those out there, time permitting. I still am running my wholesaling business as well, as well as working a full-time job. So, um, you know, with that being said, um, you know, any, anybody listening, uh, please let us know. I will, I'm going to go through, um, some of the, uh, call, some of the calls that I've gotten recently uh, on the list that I've done tire landlord lists. I've done some tax, uh, so tax lien lists, things like that. Um, I'm finding the tax lien list is, is a lot better. Uh, not as they're not highly good, not highly motivated, but they are at least a little bit motivated. The tire landlord list is not all that great. And, um, you know, they're just like, okay, if we get the high price, great. Otherwise we're just going to keep cash flowing. So in my opinion, in the market we're doing right now, if you're wholesaling or trying to do marketing, stay away from the tire landlord list. Um, you can hit it every once in a while. Uh, but I think the next thing I'm also going to end up going after, and I've done it before, is maybe some water shutoff lists, some government lists, things like that. So tell me in the chats, you know, what you guys think about those. Um, you know, what, what are you guys doing for your marketing? I'm personally cold calling. Um, well, I'm not personally. I have a VA who cold calls for me. Um, and I eventually, once we get enough marketing dollars together, I eventually want to have do some PPC, which is stands for pay per click, SEO, things like that. Um, maybe some Facebook ads, um, things of that nature. So, um, you know, what are you guys doing for, if you're a wholesaler, what are you guys doing for your, um, for your clips? What are you guys doing for your marketing? Um, please let me know. I'm happy. To, I'm interested in, in seeing what you guys got to do. I went through, um, my follow-ups today, you know, on average, how many people are, how many times are you contacting a person before you actually get an appointment? Um, you know, the money is not going to be in the first initial call or the second or the third. It's going to be in those follow-ups. Somebody raises their hand and says, okay, I'm interested. You got to keep following up with that person. So even if they don't answer. So I've, I've had it where I've contacted somebody. I, I, I contacted somebody 15 times before I even got an appointment. So, um, it, it, it's crazy, but you just got to keep doing it. That's how you make the money. Um, and, and qualify, qualify, qualify. If the ARV is only about 230,000 and they want 300,000, obviously that's not a good lead. All you do is follow up with them or, or follow up with them. Ask them if they have any more properties that might be a little bit more distressed that they're interested. They say, no, you move on. That's it. Okay. Um, if you want to follow up with them later on, great, but they're not going to be that motivated. So, um, hopefully that's helpful to you guys. I, I, I really do. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully what I am saying is helpful. These are from my own personal experiences. Um, and all I'm doing is trying to share my life with you guys. So, um, you know, with that, I, you know, anybody who is, um, definitely interested in um anybody who is interested in coming on the show uh you gotta be on time sorry but uh i you know this is the first time i've had somebody actually late to the show so um you know i so with you know anybody who does want to come on the show please do message me um i'm happy to have anybody uh who does want to come on the show to share their story 
Um, if you are just showing, just having your first deal, I'm interested in knowing how you got started, what you did, things like that. So please do reach out to me, whether you text message me, whether you send me a, a DM through um, Instagram, whether you send me a DM through Facebook, doesn't matter. Um, you know, also if you are in fa on YouTube, check out our Facebook page, Metro Detroit Off Market Real Estate Group. Okay, um, we are there. Uh, we're we have almost four thousand members right now, so I think it, it's getting huge. So my goal by the end of this year was going to be five thousand. I think we're going to hit about um, you know maybe six or seven, hopefully. So. Um, I think we're going to obliterate that goal. Um, with that being said, we want uh, quality people in there who's going to post deals or at least ask for assistance. And that's the good thing about our group. There's so many experts in there. By all means, post what you're looking for. Okay, post what you want, and you know we can all help you, help each other out. That's why that's why I made the group, and and that's what I want to succeed. I just do not post anything on or real real estate unrelated. Um, you know, I am. Uh, please let us know if there is. You can go ahead and report it. I'm the only admin, so I'm the only one that will let you through, and I'm the only one that that blocks or um, reports you. As well as if you post duplicate posts, we will. I will delete one. So please don't post duplicate posts. Okay. Um, with that being said, I let's see. I here in Michigan, at least, they we're starting to get nicer weather. In my opinion, nicer weather means more people is going to want to sell. So they're they're look they're going outside. They're walking around. Maybe you know they're working on their yard. You're like, hey, you know, maybe I want to move or maybe I want to do something. I don't want to do the maintenance, the spring cleaning, or anything like that. So they might be they might be more interested in selling. So, um, you know, with that being said, I I I think we're only going to go for about another fifteen more minutes. And if he doesn't show up, then unfortunately, we're going to call it quits. And if I don't get any questions um, here, um, me trying to message him as well and. Looks like he might be a little bit busy. So, um, anyways, I so anybody has any questions, post them in the chat. Happy to work work something out with you guys uh, and see what we can do from there. Uh, if you want a comping video or if you want me to comp a property, hey, right now I don't got anything to do. So, post post the address in the chat and I'll comp the property the way I normally would. So. I'm happy to do so as much as possible. Uh, you know, hey Holly, Holly Dentry, how you doing? So awesome, man! I also grow. I'm doing really good. Um, I'm trying, trying to be out here and, and doing what we can. So, um, you know, again, if, if you do want me to comp a property. Detroit is very hard to comp. If you are not from the Detroit area and you're doing virtual wholesaling, okay, make sure you talk with somebody who is from Detroit or you go back and watch one of my comping videos, okay? I do have it. It's probably towards the beginning of the year. It was one of my lives that I did do it. Um, by all means, Detroit is a very, it's a, you know, it's a block by block area. And you really, really have to understand um, the, the comping there. So now Metro Detroit, you can do a little bit more traditional, um, but still when you're close to the borderline of Detroit, it's still a lot harder. So, so you gotta keep that in mind. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room 